Hello everyone. Welcome to Ubisoft. My name is Amit and today we are going to see the part 2 of Java 8 feature series. We will see today the lambda expressions feature and I can say that it's the most important feature in the Java 8. Without understanding the lambda expression, you cannot be able to understand other features of the Java 8. So let's start with the lambda expression and the functional interface predicate. So first, let's see what is lambda expression. So the definition of the lambda expression is lambda expression is a function or method without name and return type. Let me revise. Lambda expression is a function or method without name and return type. So let's compare the lambda expression syntax and normal method syntax. Let's see. This is a normal method. In the normal method, we have the public, uh, we have the access modifier, uh, return type and method name and then curly braces for the body implementation. Let's see about the lambda expression. This is a lambda expression. The expression without a written type and name. And it has one arrow and that arrow indicating the body. That lambda function body or expression body. And in normal method, we also have the body for that method. And the lambda expression is also has the body for the implementation. But the missing thing is written type and that method name. Okay, that's it. Now let's jump on to the implementation of the Lambda expression. But before jumping on to the Lambda expression uh, implementation, uh, we will take one normal Java program. Uh, based on that Java program, or, or we can say that, uh, we will convert that Java program into Java later. And we will see what is the difference between that normal Java program and that Java uh, program with the Lambda expression and functional interface. Okay, so it will help us to understand the uh, requirement or understand the uh, difference between the Lambda and normal functions. So let's start with that normal program. Okay, the program statement is write a program to check age is greater than 18 or not. That is the program. Let me revise it. Revise it. So write a program to check the age is greater than 18 or not. If age is greater than 18, then return true. If it is less than written false. So let's start with that. So let's write the program. So the, let's write a class name class. Class name is let's take a validate. Inside the validate, uh, we should have one method called as a public uh, boolean. And method name is validate age that's it and that age taking the input argument int and then provide the implementation implementation is if age is greater than <coughs> greater than 18 then return true or return False. That's it. Written false. That's it. Okay. So to call this method, we need to create the object of validate class. Validate v is equal to the validate and then v dot validate age. Now pass the age here. Let's say I'm passing the 15. So it should return the false. So let's print this in the, using the sysout. Okay, so copy this. And paste here. Now let's run the program. I can see the, the, the output is false. So let me revise this program again. We have created the one valid class, which have the valid age method, and we are just putting the condition if age is greater than 18 then return true otherwise return false that's it and to call this method we need to create the object of that class and then we need to call the method so if you is there any problem in that program no at the high level we cannot we can't see any problem here it is working fine but still if you observe here or to just check the age or single parameter or single condition 
we need to create a separate class and then we need to create a method and then after this we need to create an object of the valid class and we need to call that method that is the problem let me revise it to just check a single parameter it is greater than 18 or not 18 we need to create a separate class and then separate object and we need to call that separate method to check single parameter we need to write this much of code so to minimize that code we can go for the lambda expression so let's see what is lambda expression so as we discussed earlier the lambda expression is used to provide the implementation for the functional interface so there are set of functional interfaces present in the java it called as the predicate function supply etc 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 so to solve this issue which function interface we should choose so we will choose the predicate so let me show the structure of predicate so this is the predicate interface interface predicate which have one method called as public boolean test and it accept one argument by using that interface or uh, we will provide in implementation to that test method using the lambda expression and we will solve that our problem let's see how to do that so let's comment out this now right here the predicate predicate p now we are playing here with the integer and we are comparing the integer is greater than that age is greater than 18 or not so input parameter for that uh, test method is integer so provide in the generic type is equal to integer then is equal to write a implementation for that test method which is present inside the predicate so input argument for the test method is let's say age integer and then use the arrow function after this provide the implementation so what should be the implementation here you can do this one thing copy this all stuff and paste here that's it and provide the semicolon now you observe if you observe here predicate p is equal to this is the implementation for that predicate interface predicate interface test method the test method accepting one parameter which is we are giving here the parameter called as an integer age and if that age is greater than 18 then written true otherwise written false that's it so in that case we don't need to write this stuff remove this stuff and now here remove this also now let's call the test method which is present inside the predicate p so p dot p dot test which accept the age in form of integer we passed here the 15 and let's print this the output this out p dot test let's say 15 remove this line and let's see what is the output here you can see the false output is a false now pass here the 25 it should return the true now if you observe here what we achieve so here by using lambda expression we don't need to create a separate class we need to we don't need to write a separate method we don't need to create an object to call this method but still if you see here there are three lines present so can we minimize this line yes we can minimize this line let's do that thing so here you don't don't need to return true you don't need to write a return false you don't need to write this bracket and that if condition so remove this and then you don't need to write this curly braces that's it this is your lambda function or expression implementation now this is the implementation 
what that implementation is returning true or false age is greater than 18 or not true or false it will return true or false that's it and it is expecting true or false only okay the taste method return type is a true and that p is ex ex expecting this only so it will return true or false that's it and now we are calling p dot taste passing 25 here the value of age is equal to 25 and it is comparing age is greater than 25 or not yes then it will return true that's it so if you observe here we have written entire logic in single line in the java normal java before java it will take a four five six eight lines but here only single line is enough now let's take some another example let's take one example like valid username valid username if that username is greater than five then that is valid username if it is less than five then that is a wrong or invalid username so for that execute this program or write this program in normal java so how to write this write a class then class name is called let's say validate username and then it should have one method called as public uh, boolean and then method name is validate username username it should accept a parameter called as a string username so let me correct the spelling here and let me change the name of class the class name can be only validate that's it provide the implementation so provide the implementation if you name is greater than or the name of the length of name is greater than five then return true else return false that's it so this is the implementation now call to that valid username so how to call this remove this create a validate v is equal to new validate and then uh, sys out sys out v dot validate pass the name let's say passing the av swap so it should be valid name because the length of that name is greater than five so let's run this okay it's true now pass some another username like abc let's run okay so it is written the false that's it so it is working perfectly in the normal java or without java it but the thing is we have to write to check the username we have to write this much of lines so to avoid this we can do one thing we can use a lambda expression and use the predicate remove this write a predicate predicate and input argument is a string for the taste method because we are checking the username which is string string p is equal to provide the lambda expression bracket inside this uh, the input argument called as a username then arrow function and then provide the body so what is the body here just simply copy this logic which returning the true or false and paste here that's it now call the uh, that uh, that method how sys out let's print the output also p dot validate sorry test not a validate it's a test because predicate have the test method test and pass the um, any name let's av so it should return false let's run now you can see it is written the false that's it so what to do then next uh, we can modify this code and we can minimize the line of code how we don't need these curly braces we don't need this if condition we need only this condition that's it copy this 
paste here now our function is ready here now let's run will it work or not yes it is working so what is happening here we are passing the av the value of that username is equal to av and then av dot length is greater than five or not obviously it is not greater than five and it is written the false so that's all about the lambda expressions and the function interface implementations we will see some important function interfaces in the part three so if you like so please share and subscribe thanks for watching the video